All righty, it's a little windy. I apologize. Here we go. And here we go, guys. She launched. Now, this is oscillating because this is the computer. Just the, the PID adjustments are off. I didn't mess with any of that stuff. Of course, we changed the flight controller. It's got two motors, it's got a lot going on. Now, it figured it out and it leveled itself out. Um, I have my, my craft set up to um, continuously trim servos and it's just, it leveled itself right out. I mean, that was it. It's flying smooth right now. It is blowing too. It's blowing about 10 to 15 mile an hour. Um, I'm flying it in this wind because if it's gonna fly in this, it's gonna fly great in others. I just activated return to home. That's me down there on the ground by the car. I'm actually getting in the car because it's just pretty nasty out right now. And it's checking the return to home, making sure it just works. All right. So I got the plane up in the air, got some height, some elevation, and I'm just messing around with it. I'm flying it in manual. I'm flying it in angle mode. I'm mostly flying it in manual right now, just seeing how it handles, seeing how this thing responds. One thing that you guys gotta, everyone has to keep note of, um, this is on a 4S power system. I chose the motors that I'm using, these T-Motor F60 motors. I'm, I'm gonna be switching this plane and converting it to 6S for this setup. Uh, so I'm running about 50% throttle right now and it's drawing about 10 amps of juice. It's also windy. It's hard to gauge what the speeds are, you know, if I'm going with the wind or against the wind. The plane does seem a little off, such as, I don't know, um, it just seems a little off. Seems like the CG is off. Of course, it was really windy. And now I'm just gonna, we're gonna bring it in for a landing. I'm flying into the wind right now, so I'm going pretty slow. And I'm landing it in angle mode. And it kinda seems like it just kinda drops out of the sky right there. No harm, no foul. Ah, oh, there we go. Dude, she's great. Let's launch it one more time. Gotta do it twice for the trick to count. Let's do it one more time. All right, it is windy. I think it's probably 15 mile an hour right now. We're gonna try it again, second time. Let's see how good, let's just see how good this does. He is definitely bouncing like a crazy person. And here you can see it just bouncing up and down, the controller trying to figure out what it needs. The plane just needs to have an auto-tune done and this would all be taken care of, but I still didn't want to mess with it. It was super windy, could have helped, but I'd have to do it again. Now I'm in manual mode. And in this flight is the first one, it, the plane handled the same. And then I decided to pan my cam around. That's pretty sweet, being able to look at the, uh, the motor spinning. Reminds me of my swordfish, swordfish is. Uh, and so I'm just gonna fly around for a little bit. I'm just, I'm just gassing it. I think it drew 45 amps at wide open throttle. Uh, of course, my little lithium ion 4S battery did not like it, but uh, flew it around, just double checked everything. Same as the first flight. All right, bring it in for a landing, see if I can make the landing a little bit better. And I think it did about the same thing. At the very end, it didn't really flare, it just kind of plopped, but success. All right, everyone, it flies, thank God. Uh, flew first try, both times. So, super, super happy. So, I just wanna tell everyone, you're probably watching this video thinking, oh, it's way above my skill level yada 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 easy 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 it is march 21st right now i got my first rc plane and i never had i had like traxxas boats and traxxas cars um long time ago gas powered stuff never had a plane 
ELRS, DJI, didn't know nothing about it. INAF, flight controllers, knew nothing. And a year ago from today, I ordered a Swordfish and my Radio Master Boxer and watched videos upon videos. And here's where I'm at today. Um, with all the videos and all everything, it's easy to figure out and it's fun to tinker with. Got my first 3D printer like back in December so or November. So shoot, like five, six months ago. And this is how far I've gotten in one year of not knowing nothing, not a now nothing. So you can do this too. Um, the plane flew good. I mean, we launched it, blowing 15 mile an hour wind. So if it can fly in that, when we have a nice day, it's gonna probably fly great. We need to adjust, I need to do an auto tune. I need to adjust the PID controller because it was bouncing like crazy uh, on the launch and in angle mode. And I guarantee you that's because of two things. Number one, we got two engines on it. Not sure of the center of gravity yet. Uh, and the flight controller got moved from the back up into the middle here. So everything's kind of just thrown off. It was too windy to do an auto tune. It has been a waste of time, so didn't mess with it. Also, this setup is going to be intended for a 6S. Um, so I got a 6S battery, which as soon as I get out this video, I'm gonna get that ordered. Wanted to make sure this was gonna work first. So I'm gonna fly this on 6S. I got ESCs that are on the way. Um, and it will all be here. We're leaving for spring break tomorrow. And so everything will be waiting for me. So keep an eye on the channel. It'll be the success version. Plane flew great. Um, it seemed a little sluggish with this setup. And that's just because of these motors. I chose these motors because I wanted to work on the success system. But I wanted to make sure it's all going to fly first. Uh, other than that, uh, it landed kind of rough. As you saw, it just kind of felt like it dropped out. But... There's still a little bit more tinkering to do, I believe. I believe the weight needs, the weight distribution needs to be adjusted. I'm carrying a lot more weight. I'm carrying 100 grams right here, an extra motor. So I'm gonna do what I can to figure that out. And I'm just gonna, and I'll update the channel as we go. So I'm gonna take the camera, turn it around. I'm gonna show you the setup, plug it into the computer, show you my iNav settings, and then that'll work. Here we go. Alrighty, let's get started with what you're going to be printing. You're going to be printing this. This is the nacelle. It is two, technically it's three pieces. You have the part that goes on to the wing. This right here, I made just a little rectangle box. All the links will be in the description for on Thingiverse, all free. I put my ESCs in here. Um, you may be able to fit your ESCs in here and then run the uh, wires through these channels. I elected to add this for extra cooling. The motor obviously mounts to that. And then this comes in there, slides in. Now, this is my little mock-up model. The reason this is hacked up is because it did not fit very well. So I had to make this piece 98.5% smaller and when I scaled it down. I scaled it uniformly, so 98.5. And then it fit in there just fine. I'll put that back in there. I always use a piece of wood in between my plastic and my motors. You can get these from Adam RC Dolf, uh, from Adam RC. They come with your swordfish and your dolphin kits. This mounts here. This acts as like a heat shield. Keeps this all from melting. Works awesome. The ESCs that I have in it right now, these are your stock Adam RC ESCs. Uh, rated at 30 amps, up to 4S. These are, I have a bunch of these. This is what comes with your dolphin, your swordfish, probably everything else. What I'm going to be upgrading it to, as I mentioned earlier, this is a uh, 6S 45 amp ESC, and it has telemetry on it, which is awesome. So you can get RPM and, and temp. All right, the way I mounted this to the wing is I did two things. Number one, this is E6000. I E6000 around it, top and bottom. And then these two little holes at the top, this is for just a, a skewer stick to go through, whoosh, into the wing, snip off the uh, excess, paint it black with a marker, put some E6000 over it, and that's it. That's what holds it on. It's a pretty fairly snug, I mean, you. it's, a, it's, it's not like it's going to stay on there by itself, but it fits the wing contour very well. Very, very well. Uh, the motor that I'm using is the... 
T motor, this is the F60 Pro V 1950 KV with a 6x42 gem fan prop. Backing up a little bit, the way the props are set up. When you do this in iNav, you always want your left motor to be number one. You have number one and number two. This, all the props spin inward like that. Uh, the reason they do that is if I guess you ever got your hand caught in there, it would want to kick it out instead of <laughs> slicing it up. That probably never happened, but always um, good to be safe. Let's open up the hatch. I'll show you how I did the wiring. All right, we got the hatches open. I'll, I'm going to turn around here. So my engine bay is configured way differently than what it was before. Before, I had my flight controller in the, in the stock location. I moved it forward to get it closer to the center of gravity for the pitch and roll sensitivity. I'm on my GPS. This is, this is what came with it. So this is the factory flight controller, the Adam RC Navi, the GPS that came with it the uh, data link connector, the USB. I just printed this little L bracket so it makes it easier to kind of pop into there. This is for all those LED lights underneath. And then I put everything on uh, disconnect so I can take my wing off and put it back on. And actually I'll show you that too as well. And there you go. So, what I can do, so if you want to have, like me, you can have two wings. And you could keep the other motor, honestly, you could keep the other setup on there and just unplug and plug it back in. But this is what I did. I ran the wiring down. I had to cut a slit right here. I was able to tuck the other, um, the, um, the communication wire for the ESC in with the servo wire. Positive, negative through there. And then last but not least is I took my soldering iron and I opened that hole up big time so I could pass everything through because it's a tight fit. So you'll have to do that as well. And again, if you're gonna do this, go on Adam RC. As you're ordering everything, order an extra set of wings. That way, if you don't like it and it doesn't work out, you get another wing and you can go back to the stock configuration. And it's just nice to have extra parts. Just my two cents. And now that pretty much wraps it up. I mean, the, again, the battery is that ZOHD 5,000 milliamp hour battery tucked all the way to the back. Um, I had a couple of harder landings. As you can see, this probably, the tail probably hit the ground first and broke that zip tie. I gotta figure out something I need to do here. But this right here, this whole mechanism was right at 100 grams of weight. And that balanced the CG out. So um, I'm gonna keep experimenting with that. I'm gonna figure out something different just so it looks nicer. And because this is a spare motor mount that I printed, link in the description, to swap it back, all I gotta do is take out these four screws around and then I just put um, the regular motor on there and bada bing, bada boom. And that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, same PLA, eSun PLA Plus that I used for everything else on this aircraft, I used for these. Uh, and if you didn't like it, you can always go back. All you gotta do is just unplug these, run this wire to the back, and plug in your other ESC, and you could totally go back and forth between the two if you wanted to. I mean, really, it would not be that hard if you had an extra, if you had wings already set up, it just honestly would be unplugging and then swapping it out. You could even probably leave that motor, the other motor on the back with the ESC and then just figure out your weight from there and then just take the prop off and just use that all as weight. Truly versatile. This was fun. If you're getting bored, I highly recommend doing this. Highly recommend. It was a blast. More videos to come. And here at the end, I'm gonna, I'll put up my iNav settings for you. And you guys enjoy. Thanks a million. Bye.